We've heard an awful lot about wireless access to the internet, logging onto the net without having to plug into anything. But connections have been very slow and unreliable until now. High Tech Business reporter Jim Goldman has a first look at a new technology from a tiny company in San Jose. You're looking at the next step in logging onto the net. A little modem with a twist. This is the, this is the antenna. Tony Quello is, so, is the uh, co-founder of Soho Wireless in San Jose. He wanted to meet us in a San Jose restaurant to show that his high-speed wireless net access really does work. Soho uses unlicensed radio waves, rooftop antennas, and tiny window-mounted repeaters so office workers can access the net without ever having to plug into anything. A business user that comes from New York and has a laptop, has a two megabits per second card, access to Soho service, log in, um, get the service, and uh, go to anywhere downtown and, and uh, access the internet at high speed. And that high speed is what separates Soho from other wireless net providers. That and the reliability of the service. Soho's connections are 20 times faster than typical desktop web connections, the ones that plug into the wall. That means downloading photos or graphics can be done lickety-split. Is there any uh, messages for me? Or if you've got a laptop computer with a video camera, you can do laptop okay, wireless right. video conferencing from just about anywhere in the coverage area. Our goal is to get to the point where a customer or anybody that they don't need to know where the network is, you can always access. Now, Soho's coverage area today is only a quarter-mile circle from its main hub meaning most of downtown San Jose and all its buildings are covered. Other wireless services like Metricom's Ricochet have tried to cover huge geographic areas, but service has been spotty. That's why Soho and a new breed of wireless net companies are starting much smaller by concentrating their service in areas where they know they'll have big-time customers and expanding from there. High-density areas and where the public hotspots are. Now, Soho Wireless is not the only company doing this. There are three or four others. It's a pretty good indication that, at least from here forward, being plugged in will really mean not being plugged in at all. Today, it's just San Jose, but tomorrow, it could be the world. In San Jose, I'm Jim Goldman, New Center 4. Soho service costs between $50 and $100 a month. The company is lining up millions of dollars in new investors and hopes to start deploying its wireless high-speed net access in cities all over the country.